Hey guys, it's Holly, and I'm back with another video. Um, this is My Gaming Diary episode 10, and I have a lot of really special things for this video. I went ahead and I did a tour of Neo Tokyo, which is an anime store in my area, so that's going to be at the end of the video. Definitely wait and check that out. It's pretty awesome. Um, I also have some games that I received from another YouTuber, which are really great, and some new pickups. So let's get started. Um, I received two Master System games. I traded a PSP game to PSI236 in the UK. If you haven't checked out his channel, definitely check it out. And uh, he traded me for Wonder Boy for the Master System. Really awesome game. It's basically Adventure Island, but it's Hudson's version. And I've been dying to play it. I have Wonder Boy 3. I have the first one. And he also threw in a bonus game, which is really awesome. You didn't have to do that. But Lemmings. Uh, Lemmings is great. It's a puzzle game. This version plays exactly like I remember it playing on the Commodore 64. It looks great, it plays great, it's very awesome, so thanks for that, Pete. Uh, again, his link's in the description for his channel, definitely check it out, he's a really great guy. Then I got some new stuff this month, uh, not too much. I picked up a 3DS game, and that is Tetris Axis. And I'm not overly impressed with it. Um, it's a good Tetris game, you can see on the back here, it's an official Tetris product unlike Tetris DS. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a review comparison between Tetris Axis and Tetris DS. It does have some unique features, but the main Tetris game in this, it just, I don't know, it's not quite Tetris DS quality, and anyone who's played that title definitely will understand, but awesome game for the 3DS. Puzzle game on the go. Check it out. And all the 3DS games got a price drop, so this was only $29.99, which is pretty cool. And then another game I picked up at The Beat Goes On, which is a used store in my area. They sell CDs, DVDs, uh, games. They had a copy of this for only 40 bucks. White Knight Chronicles 2. So I picked this up used. Um, it's virtually in new condition. And I'm really excited to start Leonard's second chapter of the story. Um, I played the first game, loved the first game. There were things about it that were kind of nitpicky I didn't like, but all in all, I thought it was a really good game. Maybe not level 5 quality, but I understand if you haven't played this, they've actually remastered the first version on this disc. So you can go ahead and check that out. And then I picked up a couple of anime series. Um, like I said, I went to Neo to Tokyo, and I want to say thank you to Rob Chamberlain, the owner. He let me go ahead and take some footage of the store. Now, this store I've purchased quite a few things from over the years. I get all my manga there. The Legend of Zelda manga they always have in stock. They have all kinds of DVDs, all kinds of extra collectibles. Um, I've picked up that Bowser plushie there. I've picked up Pokemon plushies there. Um, I picked up a Zelda wallet, which is a map of the first Zelda. I'll show that sometime. And a Domo pillow and a bunch of other things. Just really neat stuff from Japan. His prices are very, very reasonable. And uh, I like that I can just go downtown and pick up something imported. So when I was there this weekend, I picked up uh, One Piece. And this is One Piece Collection 1. It's actually the entire season, or first season of One Piece, episodes 1 to 26. Um, I've read the first manga of this. I really enjoyed it. And when I saw that these were on, and they were only on for $35.95, I figured for a whole season of DVDs, that's not bad. And actually, the second one with Zoro on the cover had just come in. So there's Pirate Hunter Zoro. And this is episodes 27 to 53. Um, I've watched the first two discs of this one. I'll just show it to you here. It was Thanksgiving this weekend, so that gave me something to do. So I watched the first two discs of this one, and I got two more discs of it to go. And I think the collection's presented really classy. Really good. Um, the only notable, the dubs are really good. The only thing I would note about this is the resolution for it is 4x3 and it can't be changed. I think it's just because they're keeping it authentic in the way it was drawn. It's also uncut, so you see the intro and outro of each episode as well as commercial breaks, minus the commercials. Alright, so what I'm going to do is cut to some footage of the store and stay tuned to my review of Tetris DS versus Tetris Axis. So this, guys, is Neo Tokyo, an anime store. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can film inside. Uh, if not, you'll see me back. Alright guys, here we are at Neo Tokyo. Um, there was a DVD playing in the store, so the audio didn't come out quite right, so I'm going to voice this over. 
Uh, that's kind of an overview of all of the manga section. They have so many books I couldn't even count. Um, there's an awesome Sonic bag. All kinds of books in here. Anytime I'm looking for something, I'm able to find it. I'm not a huge anime fan, but the stuff I do like, I like that I can just, you know, go downtown locally and pick it up. And I think that's really awesome. And here are the cases. This is where the really awesome stuff lies. And uh, I'll show you some of the books here. So here's the other side of the store. So we've got the Street Fighter Ultimate Edition. They've got two copies of that there. Uh, Valkyria Chronicles, Vampire Knight. Uh, we love cosplay girls. That's quite interesting. Uh, here's our DVD section. I actually did pick up the two One Piece collection DVDs here that day. Awesome stuff in the cabinets. See if we can get a good look. Um, I think these little guys are Naruto plushies. I could be wrong. Um, I'm not that familiar with anime, but I'm pretty sure those are Naruto. And then they have little accessories here, keychains. Uh, more Naruto plushies. I think that one on the left is Bleach. More DVDs. They've started to get Blu-ray in, which is really exciting. There's a Chimchar. There's a Mana and a Pie Dove. Um, I think that is a Toxicroak back there, too. That's pretty awesome. I didn't see him that day. Didn't notice him anyway. A uh, little girl with purple hair. Not sure where she's from. I think that bear was the guy from One Piece. Uh, Pokemon DVDs. There was actually uh, a mother and father in there buying Pokemon DVDs for their son that day, which is kind of cool. I've never watched any of the Pokemon anime. You guys often let me know if it's any good. There's Toad and Mario, Yoshi. Not sure who those guys are. More trinkets. I found a really cool uh, Zelda wallet that had the f map of the very first Zelda on it in here. Uh, there's some figures. And all of their prices are actually quite reasonable. I don't think I've seen anything, at least in the plushies, over $15. Um, here's Ice Flower. There's a Boo. There's that spiny cactus thing. I don't know what his name is. Luigi Ghost. A Bee Mario. A Wario. A bunch more Ice Flowers. Some Koopa Troopas. Oh, there's the person buying the Pokemon DVDs. Those spiny things are actually kind of cool. A uh, Fire Flower. A Koopa. There's a Bleach wallet, or a uh, One Piece wallet, Bleach keychains. I'm not sure who the little guy in white is there. Bracelets. All kinds of stuff, really. I think the plushies are really neat because they're all imported. This is really awesome. This is a giant mog. I've not seen a mog before, and it's $15.95, which is a pretty good price. And there's that cat down there, but I'm not sure where that cat's from. Patches. Lots and lots of DVDs and books. And then this is really awesome. I'll get a close-up of this here. There's a Domo in the corner. This is a shelf of Kirby. All of these Kirbys, and they are actually reasonably priced. And uh, I almost picked one up one day, but I'm kind of running out of room. i got to watch my stuff here. They have some drinks from Japan. And then all of the boxes for all the figures are there as well. And some keychains. 